Growth in the money supply is accelerating as the central bank is increasingly fearful of a recession. In August, the most recent month with full available money supply data, the money supply grew by the largest amount in 23 months. August was also the third month in four months that the money supply has grown year over year. The current trend in money supply growth is a turnaround from more than a year of sizable contractions in the money supply that occurred throughout much of 2023 and 2024. Since April, year-over-year -year growth in the money supply has slowly inched back upward. In other words, that very brief recent period of a shrinking money supply is over. Soon it will be back to business as usual, an incessantly growing money supply engineered by the central bank's easy money policies. For now, though, looking to month-to-month -month growth, the money supply has been flat for 17 months, coming in between $18.5 trillion, more or less, month after month. The money supply measure I'm using here, by the way, the Rothbard Salerno supply measure, is more sensitive to important changes in the money supply than the often used measure of M2. For more on that, click on the article that accompanies this video. But regardless of which measure we use, we can see that the money supply is growing once again. And that gives us a little insight into where we are in the business cycle. Typically, we see money supply growth slow down about 18 months or two years before a recession begins. We saw that begin in 2022. We even saw the growth rate turn negative for a time as the money supply actually shrank, which it almost never does. But this year, we've started to see the money supply growth rates accelerate again after a period of slowing. And it's when that happens that historically, at least, a recession is getting close. So that's where we are if we go by the money supply trends. Now, we should note as an aside that the money supply has not fallen enough to return to the pre-COVID trend in money growth, and it is unlikely to do so. The money supply grew so much during the COVID panic that we're still at least $3 trillion above what the money supply would have been had it proceeded at the usual rates of monetary inflation that prevailed in recent decades. That's how huge the money supply growth has been since 2020. Uh, and uh, by the way, out of the current money supply of $19 trillion, $4.6 trillion, or 24% of that has been created in just the last five years. And at this point, though, we should only expect money supply growth to accelerate. Yes, the Fed allowed the target federal funds rate to rise in late 2022 and held it at 5.5% for more than a year. The Fed only did this because price inflation had reached levels that were politically problematic. The Fed wasn't willing to soak back up all that COVID money, though, because the Fed fears triggering significant job losses without constant infusions of new money. In fact, this is why the Fed turned back to forcing the federal funds rate back down in September, and we haven't yet seen the full effects of that in the numbers. The Fed knows there is economic trouble coming, and that's why it is back to cutting the interest rate. This is how it usually plays out. The Fed starts to cut rates when it starts to fear recession and job losses, even though the Fed will claim otherwise. This is how it happened in both 2001 and 2008. We can see this if we look at the target federal funds rate alongside employment trends. Rate cuts are harbingers of job losses, and the Fed cuts rates in hopes that more easy money will lessen the pain in the short run. So going forward, we should expect to see the money supply head back up. Without active Fed intervention in favor of easy money, of course, the opposite would happen. The money supply would fall as the economy worsens because loan defaults cause fiat money to disappear. That would lead to falling prices, which would benefit many people, such as first-time home buyers. But the Fed is allergic to falling prices, so we can expect the Fed to intervene repeatedly as economic news becomes worse. Mm -hmm.